Motion. Looks like they're already prepared to uh, begin. So, thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Allman, if you'd stand, please. This uh, complaint was initially a felony complaint, and it's been amended, I assume, by Attorney Bauman to yes, now allege a Class B misdemeanor. It says unlawful wiretapping felony, and I'm sure Attorney Bauman wants to yes, strike sir. the word felony because it's not charged as a felony, it's charged as a Class B misdemeanor. I'm sure you've had a conversation with uh, Attorney Hipple about this. A Class B misdemeanor carries with it a maximum penalty of convicted of a $1,200 fine and a $288 penalty assessment. Uh, normally I would explain that would not entitle you to request a court appointed attorney, but you're already here with an attorney, so you don't need that explanation. The complaint alleges that on July 10, 2010, you knowingly intercepted an oral communication without consent of all of the parties to the communication when he was a party to the communication. That's what it says, and for that complaint, you can enter a plea today of either guilty, not guilty, or no low. Attorney Hippel. Uh, Your Honor, just very briefly, this this complaint alleges from uh, Mr. Allen making a cell phone call openly, non surreptitiously in front of a police officer, where the officer admits that he's aware that there's a phone call taking place. So uh, we object strenuously to these charges and plead not guilty. Okay. Not guilty it is. All right. Do we have a trial date, though? Um, June 7th. So no, have your, 17th. I am okay, 17th. Um, yes, 17th. Have your schedule with you there? I do. How's June always. 17th fit into your busy schedule? Let me take a look for it. Sure. Your time. Uh, June 17th works. I'd request a half-day trial. Okay. Do we schedule those in the morning or in the afternoon? Or does that create a problem with June 17th? Um, Scheduling is challenging these days, Attorney Hippo, as I'm sure you're aware of. So yes. Well, it's the end of the fiscal year, is it not? What's that? Coming up on the end of the fiscal year, is it not? Yeah, that's the least of the issues. So <laughs> there are other issues. Uh, but this isn't my course, so I, I'm not completely conversant with what their scheduling circumstances. The 17th, is that a day that has an open morning or open afternoon? Because my guess, Tony Hippo, is you don't want to start it, reach a certain point, recess at 4 o'clock, as you know, we have to, have and uh, then pick it up another day months later. That's not the way to do this, so. Absolutely. Um, June 17th is a day that I just realized, because oh. I've been trying to get judges to come, so I... Well, how about this? Um, how about if uh, the clerk contacts your office and gives you a number of dates, and then she, I know it's cumbersome, but a number of open dates where there is a half day. Generally in the afternoon, it's better in the morning, I think you'll agree. Yes. And then she can contact Tony Bauman and see if she can work out a mutually agreeable date with her, rather than try to do it here with everybody waiting. Does that make more sense to you? Yeah, if that works for the court. I'm I think it does, because um, they have to bring in other judges and, you know, that's where yes, the new fiscal year problem kicks in. So I, I don't know. Maybe me, maybe somebody but else. But you don't have to call me. Any other I don't know. They're not telling me either. So okay. They're just sending me. So here I am. So and we have a little more time to line that up. Hopefully there will be some time within the uh, next few months. Any issue on bail while we're waiting? No, Your Honor. Okay. Any issue on bail, Attorney? Um, could you give me one moment on that, Your Honor? Sure. Thank you. at the uh, bail bond dated uh, February 22nd, $5,500 PR, standard conditions, and uh, refrain from excessive use of alcohol condition. The bail was initially set by the uh, bail commissioner back in February at $5,500 per month cognizant. So you promised then, and you're continuing to promise today to be of good behavior, keep the peace, appear for all hearings, and comply with the other bail conditions. The only other bail condition being refrain from excessive use of alcohol, which generally tends to be a bad idea anyway. Use of a narcotic drug or controlled substance. Those were the bail conditions. Those are the bail conditions. 
we'll know the, day, the uh, trial date just as quickly as we can uh, get something scheduled between uh, your attorney and the prosecutor. Any questions for me? May or may not be me. If it's not me, nice to have met you. If it is me, I'll see you then. Okay? All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Next matter is...